Well, not too much later, we're beginning the vlog for Friday, August 21st. It is uh, 5.18, no, 5.10, 5.10 in the morning on uh, Friday, August uh, 21st. I can't remember if I had said that before. <laughs> I'm at the uh, uh, Five Family Vlogs uh, daughter's uh, Riley Ann's channel. She just did a back to school uh, uh, video on what's in her backpack. It's a sponsored one from uh, UB. It's, it's, it's actually a, a Y O O B I E. So that's but they pronounce it as UB. And these are books and different backpack things and. Stuff you would keep to get in your backpack, and so that's what she shows. She showed uh, how she's gonna uh, keep her schooling, but she's homeschooled, so but she still has a backpack. She still sort of keeps it in that sort of uh, realm. Uh, I probably will in this video uh, bring my backpack because I do have a backpack. Uh, because sometimes when I do travel, I need to take my tablets and uh, everything else with me so that I can keep taking my notes. Uh, there's a lot of studying to be done, and, and this is it. My job, what I do, is study. And sometimes it's history, sometimes it's art, sometimes it's mathematics, sometimes it's, you know, it's astronomy or, or physics or chemistry, organic chemistry. Uh, the topics really do range depending on the aspect of things that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm working on. It also has to do, there also is elements that uh, come in as I'm doing observational work. I set up an, uh, uh, an observatory where I can watch um, the thermodynamics of the Earth. But the thing is, is you, you, you watch it every three, four hours. You go take a look and see what's going on. Every three, four hours, you have to go check it. And you have to do this all year round because one year is one cycle you know, fall summer uh, you know, fall uh, winter spring and then summer that's one cycle in each each of the seasons is three months three times three times four is twelve so three months and, and there's four seasons each month is each three months is a season four seasons, so it's three times, three times four is twelve. And so, this is done all year round, and that's one, only one cycle. So it, observation does take a long time, and this is why most researchers now are moving towards data models. They're moving towards uh, models that can be done in a computer simulator. Because it's a lot quicker, it's a lot faster, it's easier to work with data than it is to work with reality. But unfortunately, data and mathematics creates its own reality uh, that does not necessarily reflect what's actually going on. This is this was the whole issue with, with uh, what we'll call the Great Fart Panic. I mean, you can't say the word because it's now verboten, and, and and you'll get in trouble if you say it. So let's use the term Great Fart Panic. So. <laughs> But the thing is, it, it worked on a. It's it, it is based off a computer model. It's based on a, on a simulation. Uh, the International P uh, Panel on Climate Change, their assessment of the climate is based on a mathematical model, on a mathematical model. It's not based in reality. It's not based in observation. And so, this is sort of the nature of things: is that that you, you still do. Need, if you're an independent scientist, you do need to do the work in terms of observation. There's a lot of work to be done because it's not being done by other scientists. And so you wind up, it's, it's like being in school for the rest of your life. And because the knowledge you're trying to achieve, the point you're trying to get to is infinitely far away, you never get there. So it doesn't matter how much I study, how much I get to know, I'm always still going to be in middle school. So this is kind of my life. My life is living, uh, is, is sort of in the tween sphere of things. And she's uh, going in, into her freshman year, so she's exiting. She's at the point where she's just exiting the tween years. She's still there, but right on the edge. So it should be interesting to see how it sort of plays out.
Ah, uh, six o'clock, and I've begun my YouTube stroll at the Yowie Vlogs. My hair is wonderful, isn't it? You always operate on the edge. It's it's this is the way it is. I'm used I'm used to it. And you always used to th I'm always used to thinking about things in manners that other people don't think about. And this is sort of what comes into today's Yowie Vlogs is that. They're talking about one of the YouTube families known as the Microcells. And actually, the Microcells have actually have have, uh, have vlogged about their plane crash. And so what happens is, is that you get to see, as I said, it doesn't matter if two people are vlogging the same thing or talking about the same thing because there's always different perspectives. And it's interesting to see what one person's perspective is compared to another. This is even true amongst siblings, amongst brothers and sisters, and si or sisters and or sisters and sisters. You can have two different perspectives in watching the vlog. One person's vlog is compared to another. Uh, you're seeing two totally different perspectives, and you get a better picture by seeing more aspects of the same thing. Uh, so the other perspectives are not necessarily a bad thing. It doesn't necessarily mean you agree with everything. It just means there's another perspective out there. And so, but if people don't, if you don't think about this, if this is not something that's part of your understanding, and people tend to think that their perspective is the only way to be, and and everybody else is wrong. And if their views are challenged or their identity is challenged. Even though the intent is not to challenge the identity, if you sort of uh, threaten somebody's identity, and you're not, this is not intended to do so, but in my case, my mere presence in group situations threatens a person's status, and I'm immediately pushed down to the my, what I call my proper level. Where I'm typically the outsider, the loser of the group. This is always my situation. I'm always the loser of the group. I'm always the outside. I'm always on the periphery of things. That's the outside. And but this is this is in many ways. Is it well? People shouldn't be like that. They should be inclusive. But it's also part of my personality. I've always been an outsider, and I've developed the behavior of an outsider where. <laughs> for a scientist, it makes me an observer. I observe things that other people don't observe, and it's not an issue for me. And this is, it's, it's uh, when I say you are worth it doesn't matter. It's that's my experience, my sense of value about myself or others or or, or anything like that, or other people's value of me has never had any bearing in my life. I've always done whatever I wanted to do. I've never it's never been an impediment or something that stopped me from doing what I wanted to. So it, it doesn't matter whether I'm worth it or not. It's no no refunds. But other people can't get to that point. It's, it's, it's a point that, that's hard for people to reach. Because I do care about what other people think. But again, maybe me being the loser in every situation, or in every group, being the loser, being the person who is, you know, not properly acceptable. I've had to accept myself in situations that, where is, in many people would consider this to be negative, and I said, well, you have no self-esteem. I said, well, yeah, I don't. But it doesn't matter. People have such a low opinion of me. It's actually kind of free. Because if people have a very low opinion of you, or almost no opinion of you, then it doesn't matter what you do, whether it's right or wrong in terms of, of making mistakes. Uh, because their opinion is not going to get any worse. <laughs> it's already at the bottom. When you're at the bottom of something, there's no way, there's nowhere other, there's nowhere else to go other than up. And so, at the bottom of society, as loser of society, there's nowhere else to go but up for me. 
And so it doesn't matter whether I'm worth it or not. The question is, how do you feel? In your situation, are you concerned with how about how, how about are you concerned how other people see you? If you are, then a sense of worth of yourself maybe in this maybe in a sense, but it's not always going to be there for you. Well, inconsistency is the standard. Uh, it is uh, eight thirty in the morning on Saturday, August twenty second. We're finishing up Friday's vlog. Uh, this is sort of the last uh, episode, the last uh, clip, the ending of uh, Friday's vlog. We do uh, work twenty four twenty four seven, and unfortunately, the certain unfortunately, the days are going to fluctuate more the more often than not i rarely have a standard day when i have consistency or routine for a while that's good but more often than not that's not the case like i started this morning around six o'clock in the morning after coming from my uh other office my other research desk and that's in the sleep realm because I do. I'm aware of what I'm aware of what I what I dream. I'm I, I'm active, just as I am awake. Uh, I'm active in research while, uh, while I'm sleeping. So, it's the same. It's part of the personality. And so what I'm is there is a consistency in terms of what I do, whether I'm awake or asleep. So there is no real uh, rest period. It's just a, a different state of existence. Uh, and so I finally got out. I, I was finally got out. It was my, the, the, there was a need for a change around six, and I just built around, built around. Did certain things. I did the gaming. I spent about an hour and a half gaming. Uh, that took you to seven thirty, and I also did some meditation at the time as well. And then I did some fixing up in the in in my place. Did some cleaning up. Uh, fixed up the kitchen a little bit. Uh, had something to eat. And as I was doing that, I was also watching Clintus TV. And of course, most of the uh, vlogs now are all back to school, including this one. We're we're back to school. We're slowly ramping up and getting things done. Uh, I said the research desk here is all done. Back this is this is the back research desk now. Uh, there is a research desk uh, where I do my gaming. Uh, when I sit outside, uh, I, that's also a research desk for observational work. Uh. And when I go to bed, that's another research desk as well. So I do have a number of places to work, and including the kitchen. The kitchen, I, I, instead of making a standard kitchen, I have a, a what we call a semi-professional kitchen uh, where I can make uh, restaurant-type uh, restaurant food in terms of the orders, the structure. Um, there are no recipes because I, I, I work really from memory. And I work from feel. This is what it, how I was taught by my grandmother. Uh, my mom uses more recipe than, she, than than my grandmother did, but a lot of my aunts and uh, grandmothers in church, they're all from the older villages, and they cook from sense and feel. So I learned a lot of the, the, the sense and feel type of cooking. And even when I do pancakes or, or, or cake mixes, I look at the consistency of the batter, and then I also look in terms of spicing. Uh, it's the smell, the overall smell of the uh, of the mixture, whatever you're making, that determines whether it's good or bad. And you get the sense as you do this uh, for how it's going to taste. And this is the, uh, I sort of modified the recipe for pancakes. I'll be pu I'll be putting the uh, the overlay in for the pancakes, rather than creating large pancakes, almost plate sized pancakes. I decided to do a smaller, I would say, oh, about that size, about the size of, the, of my finger here, uh, the, the circle. Uh, they're very tiny. They're basically, the, it, they easily fit within the bottom of a bowl. You can put a little bit of syrup around it and have it. 
I like my, my pancakes like that. I don't like my prank pancakes to be too bready. Uh, because what happens when you have the syrup in there, it becomes mushy and a large chunk, and, and it's not as enjoyable. This kit gives you a nice texture throughout uh, the, the size that I'm using. So I enjoy it. As, but, this is, but, but it's always about learning. It's about pushing your boundaries, always doing something new. Uh, and the thing is, you can get into the history. You can actually get into history uh, through food by looking at the 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 various cultures that exist, how they interacted with one another through cooking. That's the sort of the cultural anthropology. You can either sit down and read a textbook, or you can walk your way through it by cooking your way through. And so that's kind of how uh, one interacts with the other. But as it having a good time it's back to school i have the feeling of back to school uh i have uh what i'm going to be doing uh starting september all the way through october that's usually takes me a month, month, month to get fully ramped up and go back to school so we'll see what happens and anyways that's the end of the vlog for today and i said regardless of how you're feeling you know worth it or not worth it no refunds keep doing what you're doing don't worry about what don't worry about what other people think.